so what we're going to do um, to activate the canvas or paper a second way is a really kind of fun way to do it involving the use of rhythm. Uh, rhythm is like everywhere in your life and in the world. It's undulating waves, it's the landscape, it's, it's going out 285 north toward Española and seeing the different layers of color in the, in the mountains there. So it's kind of a fun way to start a painting. Um, I personally like to do it in a horizontal format, that's just me, but it's some, this is another kind of way that I start very frequently. Also, with, usually with black paint or a thick sort of charcoal type thing, but it's, it's a fun thing to do. And, and we'll, I'll do this as a demonstration, and then you guys will do one of these as an example for a while. So just to shake it up, let's start with, um, I'll do it with my little stumpy brush for starters. And the thing, one thing to remember with this is try and vary the width of the lines, the angles, uh, how, the spacing between your, your marks. That'll all give kind of energy, tension, and movement to the piece ultimately. So see, I have... I have um, in unequal spacing between most of these marks. I'll go back in in a minute, when I'll let it dry for a few seconds. I'll go back in and make some of them thicker, some of them thinner. Maybe I'll pick up a different brush and try that. Uh, what do we have here? Maybe I'll do it with this. Take some of them down to the bottom of the page. Change up the tool. Let's see. Uh, let's with a little. Ordinarily, I would probably stop now and let it dry a little bit, but I just want to go a little bit farther and then you guys can do something like this. I would start kind of moving the paint around on some of it. And again, this is going to be the, my understructure, and we don't know how much of this is going to be left ultimately at the end. But I would do this, I would go back and forth and back and forth probably 15 times in the course of a, like a morning or, or a full day. And I, what you'll get to do in the afternoon is go in with some white paint too. And it'll be a back and forth, back and forth with different tools, di you know, different widths of tools, different brushes. And that's what we do. That's one way, another way that's kind of fun and energetic to activate the canvas. So go forth and activate.